Christmas. Got all that just because I put this on the wrong side.
and it strips. Great. Okay, now that it's installed, I kind of want to just say how I think about this skid plate. First of all, it took me a couple of hours and two different days of installing it because of the issue I had with getting the engine mount bolts to line up. Getting those to line up was a lot harder than that instructional video that T-Rex made. Uh, for them, they just whoosh, bolt went right in, no problem. For me, you saw I had to use a pry bar to wedge the engine to line up with the holes. So that was kind of an issue. On the back and the front bolts, it, it was not terribly difficult, but it was pretty annoying, especially that back when I had to turn it to get it to go in. This seems like a solid, solid skid plate with it. that mounted up. Uh, I did remember reading a review on this of a guy that said there, there is an inherent problem with this design and that it can move forward and backwards. So it has a fore and aft adjustment like you saw me doing. And what the guy suggested is mounting something on the back to where the center stand would go to not let it uh, move forward and back. Because if something really hard hits the front, high rate of speed, this whole thing's gonna shift backwards because there's nothing holding it. It can swing back and forth. So that might be something I'll look into. Uh, I just wanna see how this does on its own before I modify it. This is a really nice, thick four millimeter piece of uh, it's steel because my flashlight was magnetic and I could stick it to it. I, I kinda like it so far. I, what I really like is this up here. This goes really high up. Something that I was worried about is when riding, all this stuff gets kicked up by the front tire and it gets way up here into the radiator fan. And I've read some people have issues where dirt and stuff gets up into their fan, it stops spinning, and then they overheat. So I wanted a skid plate that goes up as high as possible to deflect as much crap coming off the front wheel. Something nice and thick uh, makes oil changes easier with this handy cover up here and a nice open hole for the oil to drain out of. I'm going to do an oil change on this because of I kind of need to and I, I want to see what it's like as uh, somebody who wants to own one of these with this bike and the skid plate what an oil change would be like this is just the skid plate I'm not using a chute or anything to catch the oil all I have is a regular drain pan below I'm actually gonna put the bike onto some cardboard that's how Garrett I am about making a huge mess so hold on a second Okay, take two. We're on cardboard. Okay, that's 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 not bad. It's really not bad at all. A little bit got caught. Which that's to be expected. But it's really not that bad. I was expecting it to be going through all the other holes down there. Okay, now it's kind of going 
and now it's starting to go where it's not supposed to go. It's coming out that back hole there. Oh, we got another one over here. Oh yeah, it's it's pooling up pretty good inside there. All right, it's it's already making a humongous mess, so I'm just gonna block this off, which is kind of hard. Yeah, you can see the bottom of the the skid plate is completely covered. Let's try that oil filter. Yeah, it can actually reach up here. It's hard to get leverage on it though. Okay. Uh, I think my filter wrench is too big for a motorcycle filter. Okay, so what I did is I got some vacuum hose and I shoved it over the end of the filter pliers, filter wrench, whatever you call this thing. Ugh, finally. That's all it took, just mangling it. But that's not what this is about. This is about the skid plate and how it performs during an oil change. The reason I went with this skid plate compared to other skid plates was that this had this little service hole for the oil filter. It had this hole back here for the drain plug. Most other skid plates don't even have those. It's just a flat piece of metal here with no holes where you have to remove it just to do an oil change. So that's why I went with this one. And yeah, it's it's messy, but it's not that bad. All right, so that's what it's like to empty the oil. Um, the filling, it doesn't really have to do much with the skid plates. But since I didn't need to do an oil change, I think I'm just going to put this right back in. It looks fine, doesn't it? There's only about 2,000 miles on this. It's not that dirty. And that's, that's just seasoning, so don't worry about that. And go right back into the engine. <laughs> See, I told you guys that oil wasn't so bad. Crystal clear.